Welcome to Ad Van Black's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, the service technician for Ad Van Black, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put a full crash bar on your soft tail and add lower fairings to your soft tail. So in order to add lower fairings from touring models, you will need a full size crash bar. As you can see back here, we have a 2015 Heritage soft tail and it has a mustache style crash bar. This style crash bar cannot fit lower fairings because the lower fairings mount exactly to the crash bar, the top and the bottom. So with a mustache like this, it won't work. So today we're just gonna move the camera over here. We're gonna get this one removed and we're going to put on a full size set of chrome ones and then add lowers to that. Now in order to take your mustache style crash bar off, you'll see you'll have a bolt right down here. It's got a nut on the back side, it's a 9 16 You're gonna have that on both sides and then you'll have one in the middle. Go ahead and leave the one in the top middle just to hold it in place. We're gonna put our 9 16 on the back here and try to break this loose. We're just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Put our socket on the back, get up here in this middle one, get this one broke loose. Once you break this one loose, it is free from the bike. So make sure that it doesn't come down and smack your fender. Kind of hold it steady and we'll pull out this bottom bolt. And then this should be free from the bike. I'm gonna sneak this in from the other side of the bike just so I can stay out of the way of the camera. But you're gonna slide this right back up into place. Mount it to the top hole, just like we took it off. This part here can be a little tricky if you got big hands. And this side's easier to get from this side you got big hands kind of hard to get to slide your washer on get your nut we're gonna get it started we're just gonna put this one back on the same way we took the other one off just gonna make sure that this is to the inside it's gonna have so we're gonna have to squeeze this a little bit to make sure this is to the inside that's the reason why we leave the top loose so we can just kind of move this around I'm gonna put our bolt washer and washer on the back side and our nut back on go ahead and do the other side and we're just going to put this back on now tighten this down from the bottom up and do the same thing to this side Back to the top, we're gonna to reach in with our ratchet and our socket, tighten this top down. Now in the beginning of this video, I showed you how to install the crash bar on a soft tail. We're gonna skip forward here, pay no attention to all of the changes that have happened to the bike because this is several weeks later but we have the brand new lowers from Advan Black. And there's some really cool features on these that I wanna show you. They actually are the same lowers that fit on the Harley Touring models, except we have installed a soft tail crash bar. Now this crash bar, like I said in the beginning, only fits the soft tail models. There's one thing that you really need to pay attention to when ordering this though. If you have the auxiliary lamps with the drop down turn signals like you have on this bike, it is a must that you relocate these turn signals. If you have the auxiliary lamps like this with the drop down turn signals, when you turn the handlebars, you're gonna to have to pay attention that this could possibly come into contact with the lower. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna pull the camera over here and I'm gonna show you how to get these installed. It's very easy, just a few simple tools and you'll have these on your motorcycle. Now, when you get the lowers in, it's very easy. When you open up the glove box right here, you're gonna see a Phillips head screw right down in there. It's dark in there, it's hard for me to get the camera in there. If you flip it over, it's gonna poke out right through here. On the back side of the cap, you're gonna see this brass insert. That's where that screw goes into. So from the inside of the glove box, pull the screw out and pull the back cap off. If you are changing the glove box to the speaker pod, this is when you're gonna to wanna to do that right now. You've got a screw here, here, and here, and that simply releases the entire glove box from the lower. You're gonna have a slider down here. It has a little plastic bar inside there. You're just going to unclip that and take it off. Put the new speaker pod on, clip the new one on, 
flip it back over, put your three screws back in, and now you have a pod with still a workable vent slide at the bottom. Now there's a very specific way that these go on the motorcycle. The vent goes closest to the engine. These will install on the other side, but your back cap will not go on. Things will not fit correctly, even though it does slide into place. So just remember that the vent goes closest to the engine. The other one's gonna have the vent on the inside goes to the other side. On the back side here at the top, you can see where the crash bar comes over and curves down and the crash bar will run right through the slot. You have a clamp right here, two nuts. You're just going to simply remove the two nuts. Now with all of the different crash bars that are on the market they're all labeled the exact same size but aftermarket crash bars tend to run a little bit smaller than your OEM bars sometimes we've seen the OEM bars come in on the bikes and they're not exactly up to spec either if you find yourself putting this on and tightening it down and this is still kind of a little bit loose at the top and you can move your lowers we would take a small strip of rubber and put in there, or what I like to use personally is a piece, a strip of Gorilla Tape. It's double-sided tape and it's kind of thick and it's sticky. And once you put it on here, you don't have to worry about trying to fight a piece of rubber and stuff in there. But, but only if you find yourself putting this on and you've got these tightened all the way down and you can still move the top of the lower. And I'll show you that in just a second. It doesn't matter if you want to go ahead and apply it, you can because what that does also is keeps this piece of metal from rubbing directly on your crash bar. So if you ever want to remove these from your crash bar, you've not scratched up all of your chrome where this has been setting. This is the tape that I like to use. This is the Gorilla double-sided black tape and it is kind of thick. We've just cut off a small strip. We're gonna place it to the inside like that. Stick it real good. And then you can actually leave that plastic on there if you want to, but if you do pull it off, it is sticky on the other side. So while you're putting this on, it may stick to the bar, create a mess later. We're not really worried about that. We just really want the thickness of that rubber in there to ensure that we get this tight and it doesn't move around on the crash bar. So from there, we're gonna gently slip our lower in, feed it around your footboard into place. On the back side, we're gonna take our clamp, we're gonna put it on there. We're gonna get both of our nuts started. We're gonna run that down, but not tighten it to the crash bar just yet. As you can see, we still have movement. In the hardware pack, you're gonna have a rubber strap like this a rubber washer, a flat washer, a bolt, and a nut. We're going to run our bolt through our flat washer and our rubber washer. That's gonna go through the bottom of the fairing. This is gonna go around the crash bar. And then on the very bottom, we're gonna put the nut. We're going to slip our rubber bracket on. Through the inside of the lower, we're gonna slip our bolt and our washer system through here. And then we can start our nut on the bottom. So one little install tip that I can give you, if this is pushed in real close to the motor, when you go to put your cap on, it's not gonna line up correctly. So you wanna pre-test fit your cap with this loose. On the inside of the cap, you'll see this little piece of plastic that sticks out and there'll be a hole on the edge of the lower. You're gonna slide that into place. We're gonna put this up on. We're gonna make sure that all of our lines are where they need to be. With it pushed in, I've got a big gap over here on this side. So I wanna pull out on the lower as far as I can. We're gonna test fit everything. All of our gaps look really good. So I'm gonna pull the cap back off. And from there, I'm gonna take a standard ratchet, not a battery operated ratchet. We don't wanna take the chance of busting the plastic. So we're gonna tighten this down. I'm gonna go back and forth. So we get it snug. You do not have to put a ton of pressure on those nuts, just snug them down. Once you get them snug down, we're gonna slide our cap back into place. We're gonna take our screw that we took out. We're gonna go right back into that same hole, holding the back of the cap. It's gonna be hard for me to do this and keep my head out of the camera. Let me just get that lined up. We 
And once we feel it start to get snug, give it a couple little turns, just snug it. Like I said, absolutely no reason to hammer these down. If you want to, you can apply a little blue Loctite to all of these bolts. Do not use red, only a medium strength blue Loctite. And from there, your lower is installed. Now there's a cool new feature that we've added to the new lowers from Advan Black and I wanna talk about those real quick. We have a lot of people that run the lowers just because it does add storage space with the glove box or an extra place to put two speakers. But they always kind of have that dilemma of, I want to run these when it's cooler to block the wind, but when it gets super hot, I live in a hot area and that little vent down there doesn't provide enough air. So what we've done is we've came up with a vent. If you've seen our Advan Black lower light system, it actually has a vent in it. So there's two different things here I want to talk about. With the new lowers, you will get the solid front piece on there and you will get the vent. So if you've ordered our Advan Black lower light system, you will know that it has just a vent in there. There is no solid piece around that light, it's a vent. So in the cooler riding system, you get a lot more air coming through that vent. You can close off the main vent in the lower, but your vent around the light is still wide open. So now we will include this plastic piece. You pop that light back out the same way you put it in with the plastic pry bar. You put this piece in and then you pop the light back in. When it starts to warm back up and you want some more air back through there, take the plastic piece out. So if you look at the back side of this vent, you got these little push tabs all the way around. These actually here just kind of flex in and allows you to pop this out. This side glides in, this side pushes in. I'll explain that just in a second. On the inside, you're gonna push these over and get to that top one. And you'll see it's a little tight, get it out. And you're gonna slide it out just like that. You're gonna take the matching vent, you're gonna slide it in an angle like this and then clip these back into place. So that side just slides in. And then this side here just pops back into place. Now, to clarify one more time, these do not come with just the lowers. The vent will come with the lowers. And if you don't want the vent, you just simply put the stock piece back in. But if you have our lower lights, this would be wrapped in a light. You would take this plastic piece, set it on there, match it up just like that. And you're gonna slide it back into place. just like that now when it comes back to the warmer riding season you can simply pop your light back off pull that plastic out and put the vent back on now you've kind of double vented so that's pretty much it the only thing it takes is the soft tail crash bar this is not the same as the harley touring crash bar so you will need to purchase this crash bar and then you can purchase a set of lowers like i said before i'm going to reiterate it one more time if you have the auxiliary lights with the drop down turn signals you must relocate that system otherwise you take the chance of turning and the turn signal will make contact with the back of the lower and so if you choose to leave those on there and anything happens we will not be providing any type of warranty for any damage that has occurred because you didn't remove the turn signals if you have any questions on this install you know the deal comment section down below i'll try to help you the best that i can i'm going to get out of here and get back to work i hope to see you in the next video but until then as always be safe and keep your knees in the breeze